What's going on everyone? Boss here again. This time we're here for Undead Unluck episode 21. The last time we kind of jumped into this next arc. Well, yeah, the next arc where we're trying to capture Autumn. But uh, what happened was <laughs> we met uh, Anna Un, but uh, they are like saying that we, have, we, have, we can't, we're not strong enough to beat them. And it proved to be true because they could not do anything. And then we got to saw uh, their powers, they, uh, they cut off their arm pretty easily, like, in terms of making that decision, they cut the arm off, and drew an arm, and then it, it can't be replaced, I thought, you know, they could just draw it back on, but no, it can't be replaced, so, they're down to one arm just for that, just for proving themselves to Andy and Fuko, so, there was that, and the goal now is to train and get stronger, and the key to that seems to be going into the past, Andy's past specifically, so... Uh, Andy was turned into a book, and I guess we're going to read. <laughs> he was a giant book that went up to space. And we're going to read what's uh, his past. So I don't know if this is going to be like the rest of the season or if it's only going to be like this episode or the next episode. It's only 24 episodes, I believe, or 25 uh, for the season. But whatever the case may be, we're coming to the end of the season. So that's kind of sad. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to see how they uh, they round it up. Um, I assume they're probably going to try to catch Autumn before the season's over so we can just be done with that and then jump to whatever's next or set up for whatever's next. Um, but we'll see. So without further ado, let's jump into this episode. That's what she said. Yeah, how long has he actually been alive? Oh, you can jump in? It's like a world? Oh, what she do? Oh, took your soul out. Soul caliber? Hey, you can't say that. Going into the digital world, but not quite the digital world. She's like a little ball. Is she gonna jump into like the beginning or is she gonna jump into the middle of his life? Is it gonna like be Victor or is it gonna be Andy? Oh, you know like the old Wild West? Japanese! Don't touch me! <laughs> Dang! What's about to get got? Ooh. And there he is. Okay, he's speaking Japanese since a long time ago. Uh oh, competition. That's Josh? Ooh. What happens if you die here? You die in real life? Uh -huh. I know your future. All right, she's in. Oh, more more cowboys gonna come after them. More bandits. Oh yes, you want me samurai? Doesn't she have a similar apron to the lady that we met before? You have a drinking competition. Oh, she had it going. They're throwing it back. Dead. The girl won. <laughs> okay, so this is America. 
late 1800s, 1870s maybe. Unless it's right after the Civil War, then it'll be late 1860s. You're threatening her? Always butt naked. <laughs> they don't know he's undead? I'll play Russian roulette. All right, you gotta have his all. That's a, a weighty, <laughs> heavy initiation. She doing it again. Oh yeah, she all about it. Oh, so it wasn't even loaded. Oh, the leak. She's that like her. <laughs> what happened? Oh, ooh, dang! And he got shot. The kid got shot, right? Oh. They playing that? Uh oh. They didn't even check. So wait, did she affect the past? I guess they would have all died anyways, right? Yeah, he had to say goodbye to a lot of people. Dang, man. I was wondering how it worked because the guy was going to kill Fuko, so Andy killed the guy and his friends came and killed them. But I guess they would have... The same things would happen, but differently. Unless she's taking the place of somebody in the past. Uh, tradition, pour it out. So she'll do it and then her dad will do it when she dies or something. Are we going to see them again at some point? He said, I just want her to suffer. All right. <laughs> I see. Does she just live with him? Oh yeah, Fuko shooting guns? Oh, training? Oh, dang! I can see how this is going to strengthen Fuko too. It's so great about these things. Budweiser. You know, she thinks, so what do you think, Fuko? Oh, my so much touch murdering you. I've heard that before. And she's like, yo, killed him a whole bunch of people. It's a nice little scene to have out in the moonlight by the water. They're in your heart. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, smile! Look at that. She said he'd never smiled before until this point. Oh, why well, you got the tattoo? Oh, kiss? Oh, no kiss. Okay, next to the next memory. Is this like a what's that what's that day called? Or the phrase. She tells him to be somewhere that we saw already, so is that why it happened? Ine wicked sick. That's nice little ending. I guess you should go into that for his first memory. April 15th, is that when... When did Lincoln die? Washington, D.C. All right. All right. So we kind of jumped into Andy's past this episode. We saw... Um, you know, Foucault was teleported into the book, <laughs> the book of Andy, or book of Andy and Victor, Victor, and we saw that you know he was living as like a, a in a in a Western. Um, he had a crew, but unfortunately his crew died, and his, Foucault was kind of thinking about it like, hey, he uh, you know, all this time that he's lived, he has probably had a lot of goodbyes, so that's why he's probably like pretty like standoffish. And when she said he was always naked, he wasn't really joking around. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Um, he was really serious. He really smiled. He got her, him to smile at the end. Um, but he has to say bye to a lot of people because, you know, he lives, he found out he was immortal this episode. Uh, well, at this time in, in the episode. And uh, so at that point, it's like, okay, yeah, <laughs> this is pretty crazy. So there was that. Um, we also, I'm also wondering how this time, it's a story, but it feels like, I guess I don't, shouldn't think about it too hard. I feel like Foucault's affecting the story, though. With all the stuff going on. Because all the people had unluck cast on them. But it could also be... I mean, all the, by the, into modern times, all these people are dead by now. So it's not like, I guess, they can say, Hey, I remember you from back in the day or anything like that. Only Andy could say that, and he hasn't said that. But he also puts the thing in his head to mess with his brain so there's not too many memories come flooding. Um, but we'll see. And then we also heard of his first memory, which is from Washington, D.C. in, uh, was it April 15th, 1865, which I'm pretty sure is Abraham Lincoln when he died. Um, so um, is he involved? Is he John Wilkes Booth? <laughs> is he, was he somebody like in the, in the, the, um, the theater when it happened or did he catch the guy or what did he get? I don't even know. <laughs> Who knows what happened, but I guess we'll find out. But it'd be pretty interesting um, to see anime Abraham Lincoln if they show that. Or maybe just something completely. Maybe just a coincidence of the date. Um, <laughs> but I'm definitely curious. And then it seems like this is also how the explanation, because they were saying Foucault will get stronger too. Um, they're going closer so her, un her unluck will, you know, be have, be more effective. But she's also, like, been living with him on, like, in uh, doing missions and stuff. So she's also been getting stronger that way as well. Uh, so yeah, a, a good, good bit happened. It's pretty a uh, pretty good episode. Not as much uh, flashback as we've been getting, so that's good as well. Uh, look forward to seeing what happens next. So until then. <laughs>